Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's Tech Tip Videos. This is part two of the Ultra Series 1 and 2 Control Upgrade Kit. We will be looking at how to install the components. Make sure you have watched part one before proceeding with this video. All right, next we're going to need to move the transformer over one inch from its original position. So to do this, we will remove the two screws in the mounting bracket. And since they were already positioned one, one inch apart, we can simply slide the bracket over the one inch and use the same hole is one of our holes and this allows us to put our transformer back into place and mark our three remaining holes so we can drill the pilot holes for the transformer mounting screws. Then, with an eighth inch drill, we will drill. Is that a good means of going? And okay, what we'll do is now we have the, the holes drilled for the transformer. We'll make the step easier just by removing it out of our way for now. And then, with the drawing on your instructions, we are going to mark the hole so we are at an inch and three quarters long. And three quarter wide. Okay, the, the two holes that we are going to alter are the, the high and low voltage um, holes that are already in the top. The largest hole is still for your temperature pressure gauge, which will get reused. And the forward small hole here will have the plug that's supplied with the kit. So that leaves the two outermost will be elongated to one three quarter by three quarters of an inch. And Using a Dremel tool with a cutoff bit, we will now cut on the lines that we had laid out and elongate the holes. Okay, now that we have our rectangular cutouts made from our top, we will take our low voltage wiring harness that's included with the kit, and we will come in from the left side, feeding the wires down. And our high voltage will come in on the right side. We will then use the silicone provided and put a generous speed under the lip. I'm not gonna do it here in the video, but we would put generous speed right around the outside. This does need to be sealed because it is a sealed combustion boiler. All right, now we'll hook up our high voltage to our blower. Now our outlet. And then the remaining ground wire will come back to the screw 
on our ignition cable. Okay, okay now we'll change the sensors. We'll start with the, the supply sensor. And the supply sensor. Then we'll put the wires. Supply sensors is marked on the label. We'll come into the supply. And now, now we're done with the supply, we're going to do the same with the return and the flu sensor. So now we're going to break it loose. Remove the sensor. Install the new return sensor. Plug in the red return sensor wire. Remove the flu temperature sensor. Insert the new flu temperature sensor grommet. The arrow pointing down. Slide the sensor in. Yellow wire that's labeled flu sensor. Clip it into place. Our five connector low voltage blower and have the screw that'll go with our gas valve wire. Put it into place. Put the screw in. Into the gas valve. Alright, now we're going to place our U control. into place and we can get just slightly off the edge leaves you enough room to do your do your wiring and we're going to mark mark the two holes in the front then remove the control and drill your eighth inch holes into the holes you just marked. This allows you to put the control back into place. And secure the control with the screws provided. Before putting the transformer into place, you can use your terminal block for putting the power on. Use the side and when the hole that you had for your transformer originally and screw into place. Remember we will be using these front two screws for your circulator wires. Just try to keep those open so you can still access them, but the rest won't be used. We then can put the transformer into place. And there's also a ground wire. So we'll remove the screw out of the, back, the bracket in the back of the transformer and go ahead and put it through the eye terminal to ground out the harness. Okay, now we can start putting our wires in to the U-control. Um, we can start with the three position. P1 goes in the right hand side in the back here. This is your blower connection that goes th goes through here, th goes through the top. Just plug in here and our transformer which goes into the middle and our low voltage harnesses. Um, you can go by the number of pins the little arms come 
forward. So there's your low voltage wires. Then on your display, you're actually going to have to cut a small bit out to go around your new rectangular opening. And you can use the 5 16 screws you have already removed from the display to put it back into position. Two black wires go back to your power switch. And your temperature pressure gauge can be rerouted back through the front and through the second one. Stall back through, put your grommet back in. to the check valve and tighten with a wrench. And your 